So this is Holly Emsbury coming in from Chock D York, Chock D uh, Rich Cadden's gym, uh, a gym with a fantastic pedigree for producing quality Thai fighters. Yeah, Rich Cadden, former world champion himself, so uh, there's definitely got a, uh, a good pedigree this gym. People may not have appreciated it there, but we've seen. Uh, I suppose it's the small things like that that show you that she, it's a real authentic Muay Thai gym that she trains at. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I have to get asked at club about different things. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? And you know, the, it, it explains a lot of things, a lot of history behind uh, behind Muay Thai. And the stamp there by Holly in her opponent's corner. Start the both ready to fight. Go well, seal the ring there, uh, Phil, but not performing a Ram Moy, which is one of the other traditions yeah. of a, a Muay Thai fight. Yeah. Um. There we go. Five. I'm sure it's supposed to be five one and a half minute rounds. Uh, it's a novice, novice class uh, tie bout, this one. They've both got shin pads on, there's no knees or, or uh, elbows at all to the head. Just knees to the body. Actually, these two fighters look pretty composed. Erica yeah. seems to be holding off a little more, just waiting to land her shots once yeah. Holly's delivered. Yeah, it looks like Eric is trying to land them big, them, uh, big punches. Erica's, uh, you can see Erica's eyes, she's got a laser-like focus on her opponent. Yeah. I think... That must be, must be five one-minute rounds, and that was a short round. With the shorter rounds, Phil, do you think it can sometimes put more pressure on the fighters? They've got such a limited time. Yeah, they have, and, and unlike kickboxing, uh, I mean, kickboxing is like a like the K1, it's at a fast pace. Uh, Muay Thai, it's, it's more of a slower pace and builds up as the fight goes on. And I think, especially in doing one minute rounds, I just think it's too short myself, especially for for like the, the senior fighters. Not so bad for the kids, but the senior fighters. I think I think one minute a one minute round is too short. Not enough time to get into the fight. Well, Erica's coming in with some yeah. strong straight punches. Yes, I think Eric has found the range almost straight away, and I think Ollie's still having problems finding a range with her, with her shots. Her kicks, she's getting away with kicks every now and then, but her punches tend to fall short.
Erica seems to be bad in her time before she does something. I think you used the word composed earlier to describe Erica. I think yeah. you're spot on for yeah. guards very tight all the time. Yeah, she seems to be more in control of what she's doing. Well, the Holly did there well there, using a shin to uh, fend off the, the knees. Yeah, she to did. Neutralise the clinch. Yeah, she did. She locks her leg up so she couldn't do anything. Again, she just seems far too short. One minute rounds. Got to get that jab hook working. Jab hook inside, outside on the body. Tight up in the clinch. Doing really well, blocking it, blocking it off. Yeah. Round three. Now it's time to work. Yeah, you're working your ass off this round. Pull it. Pull it forward. forward. Okay. Forward. Oh, nice. Yeah. Straight left there, straight away by Erica. Holly seems to be dropping her hands a lot though. Yeah, she does. Although she's got a nice tight plumb uh, on Erica now. Yeah, I landed a few knees. Good exchange of kicks by both fighters. Yeah, actually, actually Holly's, I think, she's got a few more kicks in what. Um, Erika has, she's been scoring to the body a lot with these kicks. And that's what the judges would like to see, they like to see these kicks to the body. That was a very well-timed kick by yeah. uh, Holly. See, she's blocking uh, Erika's kicks as well. She's not doing bad this round at the moment. But Erika comes back in with her straight punches. Erica does seem just to be using the kicks to set up her hands. Yeah, up. I think uh, Oli had a good round there. That was a good round, I'd, yeah. I'd say Oli, in my mind, would have took that round. Because uh, when Erica was throwing the kicks back, uh, Oli was, uh, she was blocking them. She was blocking and actually countering back as well with kicks of her own. Yeah, she had some good timing. Yeah. We go for round four. Round four. Erica opens up with the punches again. Yeah. Holly. Holly straight in with the kicks. But you're right, Phil. Holly seems to have found her range now. Yeah, she's she realizes what's working for her. Yeah. I think Rich, Rich, because Rich knows the game as well. I mean, Rich will probably have to start scoring more. She's, um, like I said, she's throwing a lot of body kicks. That, that left body kick is really finding its mark. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Although Erica comes in with those punches, I think there's a little bit of blood showing on Holly's nose. Yeah. Oh, a beautiful, oh, beautiful, left, beautiful hand. left hand. Straight left by Holly there. Really fired up Erica. Erica seems to have slowed down a little bit though. Yes, yes. Very flat footed. Yes, slow down. Holly uh, seems to have come back into fight more now. Holly started to land the punches as well. Yeah. That was a very good Another round for good Holly round. there. As you said, Phil, it's the, the latter round in a tie fight yeah. that count. And those last two rounds certainly went to this, uh, the red corner. This definitely could change, change uh, the fight. She needs a good round now, does Holly. I mean, Erica doesn't look particularly tired when she's in there, but uh, she's become a little bit more flat-footed. She's not been instigating as yeah. much as she has done in previous rounds. Final round now, an important round for both fighters. Yeah, she could, Erica comes out with a flurry of straight oh. punches, but a beautiful left kick by Holly. Yeah, I mean, and she showed good balance then as well. She grabbed her look, she's keeping her balance. She also scores well with the judging. Oh, oh. oh the leg and a beautiful good. left hand by Holly. Another good body kick there from Holly. She's really scoring well this yes, round. Yes, she yeah. is. I think she's found that bit of confidence now. And that tight, composed guard that Erica had in the earlier rounds has really disappeared yeah. now. She's getting caught with straight punches by Holly. But like you said earlier, um, Erica doesn't look really tired. She's... Uh, She's not doing too bad, actually. I, th I still think Holly, uh, I think Holly uh, might take this fight. I think Holly's certainly turned it up these last three rounds. Yeah. That left body kick has really found its mark. 
But Eric is coming on strong again. Yeah. Well, this Fantastic be, effort by good. both fighters. Really good fight. I think Holly in those last three rounds really pulled this fight back yeah. to the red corner. Although Erica did fantastic in the first two rounds. It's a unanimous decision to the red corner. Yep, red corner. Well deserved victory there for Holly Ensbury, Chuck D. York. Valiant effort by the uh, loser, Erica Tidman.